now we have defined these load patterns but now we need to correct these loads also that is we need to ch uh, check elx left click on modify later load and here we need to uncheck all these options response reduction factor can be r equal to 3 and uh, zonal let it be 0 0.16 site type 2 can be ss2 importance factor i equal to 1 and time period can be program calculated also or you can also manually calculate a time period here along x direction the length of the portal is approximately 40 meters so as per the indian standards the time period is approximately 0 0.075 into h to the power 3 by 4 the height of the shed is approximately 5 meter plus 2 meter that is 7 meter so 7 to the power 0 0.75 into 0 0.075 so time period is approximately 0 0.322 seconds so left click on ok similarly we enter time period as 0 0.322 y direction 0 0.16 r equal to 3 and then left click on ok option wind load we need to assign it as UDLs so left click on ok after that we need to define a response spectrum function also if we want to do the response spectrum analysis in the structure like this where there are various portal frames and there are openings etc for the wind loading to act 99.9 percent .9 wind loads act, wind load go on the design so now we have defined the load patterns after that we need to define the load cases all the load patterns are automatically imported to the load cases but if we want to do the response spectrum analysis so first of all we need to define a response spectrum function so here we can select is 1893 2016 left click on add new function name the function as is 1893 seismic zone zone 3 importance vector 1 r equal to 3 and damping ratio for steel structures can be taken as 5% so left click on ok option and then again left click on ok save the model after that we need to define the response spectrum load case so we name it as rsx load case type as response spectrum and uh, here we need to add acceleration u1 function as is1893 and scale factor we need to change the units here left click on show units form here we need to change the acceleration to meter per second scale left click on ok save and uh, first of all we also need to define the mass source here dead live loading on the roof is not considered so we can skip live loading in this case and we can add collateral loading here now warning will be warning will appear cause we have taken dead load also as well as element self mass also so left click ok and then again on ok so after that we need to go to load cases we need to add a response spectrum load case here so we name it as rsx load case type as response spectrum analysis and we need to acceleration u1 function as 1893 scale factor 9.81 and similarly for rsz the load name has to be u2 left click on ok and then again left click on OK to save this model. 